Hi folks, Lee here. Welcome to the Laney YouTube channel. Today we're taking a look at the L5 Studio and how to record a track and also reamp some of your recordings too. Okay, so here's a track I recorded using the L5 Studio and afterwards I'm going to show you how to reamp your guitar parts too. <laughs> So there we are guys, just a simple track that I had fun putting together for you. I used the L5 to record directly into Logic Pro 10 to achieve it. So first up, here's a brief overview of the L5. The L5 Studio brings single-ended Class A tube tone directly into your DAW. It has two channels and a studio quality digital reverb and cabinet simulation too. It features Laney's unique TUSB technology. The TUSB interface supplies both the dry signal and the process signal of the amp split left and right to your DAW directly onto either your PC, Mac or iPad, which means that you can alter the guitar tone of your original recording without having to retrack anything and do it silently. So let me show you how to set it up. Setting up the L5 to record is quick and simple. Firstly connect the USB cable to the rear of the L5, then into the USB socket of your computer or tablet. You may need an adapter for your particular device if it doesn't have a standard USB input like this MacBook. Open up your DAW, we're using Logic Pro 10 here, but the principles remain the same regardless of your software, and that should recognize the L5 as USB input. So if that hasn't automatically worked, just head to the audio preferences in your project and select the L5 as the input. It's worth noting that in order to reamp your playing later, you'll need to set the output of your software to the L5 too, as it will be playing your original part back into the front of the amp. If you've set it that way, then simply connect any monitors to the headphone socket of the L5 in order to hear what you're playing. Once you've set up your global settings, then all you've got to do is enable two audio tracks for recording a single guitar part. Let's call track one L5 dry signal. You should have the option of selecting either input one or input two for this track. Input one is the direct dry signal of your guitar, and we'll use that later to reamp the guitar part. Okay, so let's get another track, and we'll call this one L5 hot signal. This is the signal from the amp. We need to select input two for this track, which is obviously just coming straight from the amp itself. Okay, so now you're ready to record your guitar part. Simply arm both tracks to record, hit the record button and start playing. When you finish your part, you'll obviously have two tracks of the same guitar part. Track one being the completely dry signal of your guitar and track two being the amp's tone. 
you can now reamp your dry signal through the L5 and tweak the settings on the fly as you record it to a new track. To do this, simply attach a guitar cable from the reamp send socket on the L5 to the main guitar input on the front panel. Then set up your track as follows. Firstly, we need a new track. Let's call it reamp. We set the input as input 2, in other words, the output of your amp. Then we solo the dry signal track. Arm the reamp track to record, hit the record and adjust the amp as you see fit. Here's a short example with some dial twiddling. So now we've got a fresh recording of our original take with different amp settings, which is very useful indeed. So there we are guys, I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, just fire away in the comments section below and we'll do our best to answer them for you. And hopefully we'll see you again soon for some more videos like this. Until then, take care.